Alright guys, welcome to Crypt of the Necrodancer. Yet another uh, Patreon-sponsored video from uh, Jesse Miller. If you want to learn about how to sponsor a video, go to patreon.com slash But in essence, he gets to tell me a game to play every now and then. And I don't really know what I'm getting myself into that well. And did the screen just go black? Okay, this time it worked. That was weird. <laughs> I hit start and the game crashed. I'm like, oh, that's not supposed to happen, probably. Warren, this game contains visual effects that may induce seizures. Cause it's gonna be flashy as fuck. Let's give it a shot. But yeah, Patreon sponsored video. Someone said play this video and now I'm playing it. Oh shit, we have to calibrate audio latency. All right. I hope this works out. I don't trust my... I don't know if I trust my own ability to calibrate. It's funny, I play music games fairly regularly, but whenever I get a manual calibration like that, I'm like, oh crap, am I lining up properly? Other games will have a dial that goes back and forth on a meter, and you can see when it's going to hit each end, but that one was like, just hit it when the heart beats. I'm like, that's not the be easiest thing to time. Anyway, what's new in the new patch? I don't care. I have to play other game- I have to play other versions of the game first. Alright, brief tutorial. Press an arrow key on the beat to move. Okay. Appears to be incompatible with controller. Alright, arrow keys then. So we're supposed to match the timing. And this, I absolutely expect this to be a series where I just am silent for a while while playing. Because they freaking... <laughs> because I'm supposed to match a beat and pay attention to music. <laughs> I don't know how I'll ever talk while doing this. If I'm gonna survive this, I'll have to remember what Uncle Eli taught me. Every opponent has a predictable pattern, he said. Learn that pattern and you won't suffer so much as a scratch. That green guy didn't move at all, and this blue one just moves up and down, so if I attack him from the side, I'll never be hurt. <laughs> a broadsword, not as sharp as I'm used to, but I bet it can still take out three enemies in one shot. For that middle guy, I totally thought that I was supposed to, uh... Looks like those skeletons put their hands in the air when they're about to jump. If I'm in the way when they move, then it's gonna hurt. For that middle guy... God, how do I... I don't even know how to, man. Uh, with that middle guy that happened before, I totally thought that I was supposed to, uh... Just hit him. I didn't know that I had to specifically avoid his path. Alright. So there's weird rules about when they attack. I understand how to tell where they're gonna go. But I guess I just need to flank that them. Is mostly harmless, but Eli warned me of deadlier traps to come. So I need to focus on flanking people, I guess. Do I even have gold? 21? What's this thing do? Sure. Got a pack for extra space. So I think we're in a real level now. Maybe. Hello. Oops. Got it. All right, a few things to learn here. Apparently I can't use that. What's that thing say? So it's basically, it's a procedurally generated roguelike with RPG elements where you're supposed to try to match a rhythm. And some of these enemies are straightforward so far. Oops! I'm randomly messing up the beat. So now I've got a different dagger. They're giving me shit for skipping beats. <laughs> now that was probably bad. My bad. I should have knocked it away after the first one. Oop. What? Okay. There's a few things to- oh wait, maybe the zombie hit me that time. Alright, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna be silent a lot, I think. <laughs> I can't process this at the same time. What the fuck is happening?
I can just dig through all this. So ch I'm just trying so hard to stick to the beat. <laughs> No, bad. 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 What? Oh, I died. Something killed me. Okay. I thought I dodged him and waited for him to go down, but then I hit him and died. He lost two health, but then I died. Okay. Sure. You lose your unspent diamonds if you restart. Would you like to visit the lobby and spend them? Okay. Apparently you spend diamonds. Okay, I have one diamond. What do I spend it on? What's this door do? Obviously I'm going in blind. You need a key for that. New! This... Beastmaster? Oh, that's the guy I rescued. Okay. Where do I spend the diamonds? <laughs> um... Local co-op. Hephaestus. Oh, there we go. Restore to health, and... Long attack, throwable. And one defense. Defense is probably good. I need a diamond though, but if you but if it's unspent, you lose it. Let's grab the extra range then. So these items will show up in chests. Okay. This game has local co-op. Alright. Let's see if I can last a little longer. I'm sure there's a lot to learn. Hey, sweet cash that I don't have. Oh wait, there might be a back door. Nope. Periodically missing them, and I'm not sure what's wrong with me. I wouldn't be surprised if I just flat out calibrated wrong. Alright. Nope. This is a whole. This is gonna take me some time to figure out. You kind of have to recalibrate your entire way of thinking about these enemies and how you fight. Alright. These guys just don't do anything. That guy raises his hands. Nope. There we go. Oh, God. Tempo down. Shrine of Darkness. Turn out the lights. Did this. Don't see much now, for obvious reasons. What can we find? Hello? That's a hole or something. Oh, it's a blood dagger. What does that do? Ten kills? What does that mean? Oh, you press up and down to throw, it, throw your weapon, apparently. Interesting. I think I like the spear, though. I like the idea of having a ranged attack. What's back here? Aha! Range! Take that! I don't have to know when you're gonna attack now. <laughs> Take that and use the spear as a crutch. Which is conveniently rod-shaped. There we go. That's really useful for me. Uh oh Water bad. Die, bats. Oops. Alright. I'm mostly sticking to the beat, though. Oh god. Bad touch. Do you shoot fire sometimes? Seems to move every other beat. Alright. Got him. And then I lost my coin multiplier. Sweet job, bro. Ah. Oh shit. My bad, I thought he was gonna jump in, in the way and get hit by the, uh, the spear. Next floor, I guess. Why not? So it has different songs. I think this is... I'm not entirely sure, but I think this soundtrack might be done by Danny Baranowski. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, um... Do I have diamonds? I don't have any diamonds. Alright. Let's see here. Can I... Is there an options menu? I'm just gonna press every button at once now. 
tab, uh, shift, enter, escape. There we go. I thought I hit, oh, I probably hit tilde instead of escape. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and just... No, uh, hit, uh, skip. What is default? Is there a default button? Ah, shit. Sorry, I just, I don't trust my own calibrations, but I don't know if there's a way to hit, just make it, go back to default. Because I don't trust. There's graphical options, V-Sync, why not? Other stuff. Audio options. Eh, we're not gonna get much mileage out of here. Oh well. Alright. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I don't know if, I, if the timing's correct or not, or if I'm... Or if I'm constantly messing up because I miscalibrated it. But we'll never know. I guess I messed up something. But yeah, when I tried to manually calibrate Rock Band, I mess it up every time, basically. And it's a, pr it's a problem. So I could be consistently wrong with my timing for this entire setup of this playthrough. Oh, that was a mean freaking place for that to be. Hello. What's in here? Oh, hello. There we go. Looks like it automatically triggers the attack even if you're not standing directly in front of them if it's hittable with your broadsword attack. So I attacked them diagonally, basically. Hello. What do you do? Oh no. Hey, that was a hazard. Obvious downside with the uh, broadsword is that it'll attack if, it, if anyone is in that direction. Meaning trying to move is actually kind of hard because it'll keep triggering attacks for all the people that are in front of you. Ow. Shit. It goes bad so fast. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this first episode is going to be a lot of me dying. Because I have to figure out a lot of things from scratch for sure. Zone 1. Dance pad mode, easier. Oh yeah. For people that are trying to play this on a dance pad, which are the lunatic people. Hi. What do you do? Plus one, red chest per run, coin multiplier, bonus, art container. Oh hello, yeah. I could use that. So I sell permanent upgrades. Alright, I got a bonus heart container. That's gotta be helpful. Alright. I would say I'd probably be having a better time with a controller. It's kind of a bummer that it didn't seem to respond to my controller being plugged in. Because pressing arrow keys to move around is not intuitive to me. It messes me up in basically every game I try to use it in. I should probably double check to see if there's some sort of controller input that I can enable somehow. Um, not much going on here. I don't know what the pack does exactly. Just plus one storage. Okay. So up and down is throw. Down and left is bomb? Right, because all the controls of the entire game are conformed to the uh, deep, the uh, the sticks. So that it can be playable on a, on a dance pad. What does it say? Dagger throwable? Okay, fine, forget the multiplier, I just want to see what this says. Uh, kill to heal, low health equals bonus damage. So kills with this give you bonus health. That probably helps me stay alive, although it looks like it might expire in 10 kills, I'm not sure. Go away! You're making this difficult on me, I want you to die. That must be the outside boundary of the entire level. Die. Hello, diamond. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna run out of this anyway. <laughs> It'll keep me healthy for a little while, maybe. Don't know if I've taken damage since I got it, though. Hey, bat. What do you do? Oh, 
All right, well, he's dead. At least there's that. And now it says nine kills. Wait, did I did I replenish it somehow? Is that a thing that that happens? I should probably revisit that uh that vendor. Try to spend what I have. Why are they red now? All the icons are turning red? Am I doing poorly? I'm not sure. Hello, spear. Oh wait, you're just a fucking spear. I don't care about you. Damn it. That was pointless. Is there a time limit that I'm gonna hear about? Oh, song ended. Okay. We learned something. Oh, spooky ghost. So it chases you. And then you have to get to chase you to hit it in the first place. Who's a spooky bomb? I'm gonna leave now, bye. Hello. Move plus... Move plus dig. Vision radius. Defense. I should probably get that bonus, bonus armor. There we go. Seems reasonable. Should I get bonus radius? Why not? It doesn't cost much. So apparently the vendor sings. That's what we're getting there. Fuck your walls, man. I don't need them. Bye. So can I unlock this person or do I not have the thing? Need that golden key. You lose your multiplier just for touching stuff that you can't use yet. That's kind of a bummer. Ooh, diamond. What's this thing do? Ow! It's bad for you. Okay, we learned that. Oh no. There we go, we're getting the hang of this better. All right. Oops. No. No, bad blob. Ow, no. Once you start messing something up and your sequence gets out of whack, it's so hard to recover it. Because you're like, oh no, everything's falling apart. And if you, you try to make an action at the momentary, like, at, at the pattern you're supposed to be taking actions at. But it mostly just gets you more in trouble. Where's he going? He just runs away? Okay. I'm trying to get him to come over here when I'm over here. There we go. Messing up a little bit. Hello. Wow, it's a long range. Oh, is it because of my bonus attack range that I clear out so much area when I dig? Because I clear out a ton of digging area. Or maybe it's because I have the uh, sign and the other thing at the same time. Oh, we're getting faster here. Alright, that got messy real fast. What's it say? Gain shovel, bigger levels? What? Breathing, multiplier based, stroke. What the fuck? They're overlapping text. It's not helping me at all. I don't know, diamond. I don't know what that one does. Take that step. I want to save you. Where's the golden key? What the fuck? Oh no. Shopping spree? Heal to kill, low health is boast damage. But you use health to do it. I don't have health to spend. I'm out of here. You took my weapon? No, I want my shovel back. I don't know what, wait, what's back now? Wait, I have both now. Did I lose the last one some time? I'm not entirely sure. I might have missed something major. Oh no! Oh no! How many things are after me right now? No. Oh no. That's bad too. If I kill enough bats, I'll heal. And then I'll be good. Oh, I'm gonna get trapped. That's bad for me. 
Alright, careful. Let's go kill more bats. Nope. So he seems to charge in a direction for a while. Which I can manipulate. In my favor. No! No, I'm losing health faster than I'm gaining it! Crap. Fuck! There's so many things happening. <laughs> That's over- it's a little overwhelming when you're trying to process what's going on. So why was I not- I wasn't healing that much, I guess? I was trying to look at my weapon to see which one I had, but also trying to look at my health to see if I was recovering what I thought I was recovering. And I didn't seem to be healing when I thought I was be healing, but also I was trying to do the timing, so <laughs> I don't know what I was missing necessarily. But my understanding is I thought I had a life leech weapon, so I was trying to kill a bunch of bats to heal up so I could fight the boss. But then I looked at my health a moment later, I'm like, why is it, like, empty? I don't know. It happens. Hello? Let's go back to the lobby. Bonus health. That seems reasonable. That's how you keep going, right? I do like persistent upgrades in these games, like Rogue Legacy. I like feeling like it, it, it. Death feels less punishing when you at least have some kind of feeling that you you accomplished something. Wow! Let's just fucking okay. Take me, take me away from this place. You can have me. Except he'll never kill me. Damn it! I just tried. I tried to kill myself, and I all that was left was him. My entire sequence got out of whack, and I just blew it. The green guys mess with me sometimes. Hey guys. There we go. Yeah. Quick restart. In fact, I should check. Uh, reassign controls. Is there a quick restart? Quick restart default is down alt. Okay, that's something I can remember at least. Okay, that's something. And there's apparently custom music. Enabled. So who knows how you would uh, go picking it. All right, we'll see how this goes. I'm not sure, not sure what the effect's gonna be. So this is a different song. I did replacement. A little caught off guard by how, fi how, how high the BPM is for this one. So does it expire in that many kills? For sure? Oh, that's freaking me out. <laughs> Cause I thought it would last longer than that before. What does it say? All items become glass. Oh shit. How fucked am I? That seems bad. Ow. Good job, me. Ow. Why can I hit him? Oh, the weapon broke. Shit. Alright. <laughs> Blew that completely. Ah, completely. Game hard, you know? Game hard. But also, this f this song's faster than I thought it was going to be. It's the- it's their interpreted, uh, speed for it. Oh shit, I meant to grab my weapon back. Oh man. It might take me a while to... get my brain to think the way this game thinks. <laughs> It's interesting you can just dig through every wall in this game. Well, not every wall, but you know. And also, I guess you don't need to have a shovel to start. Oh shit, here he is. Oh fuck, that goes bad so fast! Yeah, that uh... That sword will destroy you. The sword destroys you because you need to have a, uh, what's it say? Wider t So these are upgrades you can find, potentially. Uh, the cheese could be handy to have something, as something I could find. But yeah, that, that's, that broadsword can end your day, because you, you, you suddenly, like, are attacking on accident. Because it increases your range so much. In ways that feel slightly unexpected. Crap. Ah! No, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> there are things I need to intuit about this game that are not clicking yet.
Yeah, I may need to replace this song. Or just go back to the default soundtrack. I thought I'd just try out this feature, but... The, uh, speed they're giving this song does not feel natural. It's like, this, I think they gave the BPM, like, twice the speed that feels right. Which is also probably part of the reason why it feels like the game's, uh, killing me fast and, like, things are going wrong really suddenly. <laughs> hey, Store, how you doing? Can't afford that one yet. Bonus armor. Yeah, I need to get used to moving twice as fast as I thought I was needing to move. What's a golden sword do? I need to find out real quick. High damage after gold pickup. Oh. Alright. Like right now? Oh, shit! I didn't mean to go in there! Ah, uh, well. Ow. That was painful. At least I can do is grab the diamond real quick before I get myself killed. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the normal soundtrack, as fun as that is. Alright, I've tried remapping the controls to the controller. I guess you have to do it all manually, apparently. See how this goes. Now I'm just gonna be like, now nah, I'm relearning the game again, it's weird. Alright, this- I think I can get the hang of this. Hello. What's that thing say? Plus one red chest per run, coin multipliers, next heart container costs 12. It's a lot. Probably should get more consumables at this point, right? What was the what was the far left one again? Hello. It's a training room. Let's see what kind of consumables I can buy for future runs. Wider attack, defense, I can afford that one. The more defense that I can find, the better. Let's see, these items will show up in chests. Yeah, I'm right about that, right? Yeah, I'm not buying stuff for the next run, but all runs. But I have to find them, of course. Alright, let's see how this goes. You just gotta have faith in me. I don't know why you do that. Oops. Damn it. Okay. Wow. It's definitely the ones that move and then attack on alternating turns that where I'm like, I need to... Hang on, I need to think about this one for a second. And then I failed to do so. Hello. Oh, no! Oh, no! There we go. Kinda getting it. Did bats attack? I don't think one's hit me yet. This is weird, I have a map to the D-pad, but I'm pressing it with my right hand across the controller. Because for some reason that feels better. This is definitely the kind of strange game where I'd prefer to play with some kind of custom controller. That's always the problem I had with, uh... Rock Band and Blitz, also. It, oh shit, I don't have my spear anymore, apparently. I've definitely had a number of moments where I'm like, I, re I really like this Rock Band Blitz game. I wish I had a special controller that felt designed for it. Hello? That armor's expensive. Like, really expensive. Alright. There's a clear incentive to keep that multiplier up for that kind of situation. I'm trying so hard to match the beat. Ah! That time I actually rolled my, my thumb on the on the D-pad a little bit and it pressed multiple directions. There we go. I should probably kill these guys first. Y'all are worth something for me. 
Yay! Coin multiplier three. That's the, that's like the best we've had so far. Just trying to get my way back up here in 96. Let's get some armor. There we go. I think I'm good with just that for now. Oh, oh. Got off center again. Anyone watching in the audience is probably just staring at the heart and watching my lines get continually further off from being correct on timing. But when I'm moving, I can't look at that. So I just have to hope I'm right. But like I've said before, I think it's calibrated wrong. But unfortunately, there's no hold up the guitar to the TV and have it auto-calibrate like you can in a rock band. I really should have read that. Let's see. G give blood, get blood weapon. Fuck. Well, I want to hurt myself. And I'm not healing, so what's the point of a blood weapon? Let's see, I must have, must have to use, use up and down? No, up and down is reload. I thought blood weapons heal you. I thought that was the whole reason they exist. So why don't I ever get any more health? Ow. Well, I'd love to say I'm figuring it out, but <laughs> it's been a few moments where I'm like, I don't know if I'm figuring any of this out necessarily. I'm trying. Uh, I got another diamond. Oh, right is how you say yes on D-pad language. Hello. Hello, you. Let's go ahead and grab that one. Game's fun, though. Let's see here. Options. I think the specifically. No, how do it work? Oh, <laughs> I was in here like, where's the S on the controller? How do I set the. Okay, I think I just have to use my. Oh, up and. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, the D contro uh, controller doesn't work on the screen. I think video latency is too latencyed. <laughs> Come on. I think this only really apply. I don't know if this even applies for tele for PCs or not. I don't know. The whole cob bringer latency is more of a television thing, I think. I don't know if that's... Maybe it's been... Oh yeah, look at that. Oh man, the audio is in sync with the fucking heart. Minor details. This guy's asked for four episodes of this, so it's not... I'm not too worried about... Uh, I, I'm not too worried about uh, not having a satisfying conclusion for the first episode, just because like we're gonna we're gonna be spend some time with this game. There's a bit of a backlog of uh, sponsored videos. Oops! Ah, fuck! My brain does not wrap around that enemy. There's a bit of a backlog of videos to be made because I made no sponsored videos last month. Pretty much due to ow shit. Pretty much due to the, uh, permission of the people involved, though. I need to stop talking forever. There we go. Ow. There we go. All I have to do is completely silence myself. Yep. This game is negatively impacted by me trying to do commentary more than maybe any game I've ever tried to play before. <laughs> That's not going to amount to much. See, have I seen a- oh right, there's a map in the corner. Alright, so I haven't gone down here yet. Healing? Nope. Automatic freeze. Not sure what that one means. Hello. Arrow shows exit. Bonus defense. Vision. Gonna get that defense. Might as well get the compass. Oh, is it a one-floor compass or a forever compass, though? 
I don't know. I have a lot of money, though. And not a lot of reason to not want those things. I think I've significantly fixed things for myself by... recalibrating. That change in color means we're running out of song. I think I learned that last time. I could have dug through that wall. I don't know why I went the long way. There's a staircase. Hola. Can I press this? Maybe not. Look like a button. I could use that, I think. Oh, it's a... It's a there's a chest. Let's get some more gold for that. I have trouble finding the keys that I'm supposed to be able to use to... That I can get access to new features with. So we've learned not to play with that thing. Anything over here? Fuck! Ah ha ha! Ow. Well, I almost blew it right there anyway, didn't I? Despite having the golden opportunity, almost killed myself on a skeleton. Let's see what that chest has for me. This might be my first chance to go to the third floor. I don't think I've done that yet. What does it say? Greater shops? Or cheaper shops? Oh yeah, that got cheaper. Now I just need to live long enough to use them. So I've gotten myself into a bit of trouble. Should I look for healing items or should I get to the next floor? What does that thing do? It scares me. Any wrong move and I'm dead. And I'm bad- I'm really good at wrong moves. I want the golden key. Hey! Uh, up and left. No, up, up and left. There we go. We healed. Ooh, food. There we go. Oh, I didn't think I- I think I bought one before and didn't eat it. Let's do this over and over again. Are you a golden bomb? Oh, there's the key. You're my new best friend. See you in the lobby. I'm a witch. Do you like witches? Good thing I checked or looked around a bit. Bad touch. So much bad touch. Aha! Oh, looked all the way around, too. Oh, <laughs> just in time. Kick-ass music, by the way. I saw, and I did see Danny B listed in the soundtracks list, so it is Danny Baranowski. Who's it? Who's the guy? Oh, no. What? 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 The open cage with golden lock. Oh, what do you do? Oh, shit. It moves on. It moves on half beats. Oh, shit. That's not good. Two damage. Uh, help with terrain. Helps with some terrain. I can't afford the key. Uh, do I want double damage? Or do I want this knight? I kind of want the sweet broadsword. Uh, maybe we'll try the double damage. Ah, uh, can't attack through the wall. Where am I? How did I get here? Uh, almost messed that up really bad. Oh, broke the wall. Alright, bonus attack seems to help to some extent. Hello. Have we met? Did you teleport me earlier? Oh, diamond. I love you. No, go away. This game's really fun, by the way. Yeah, the spear seems to help me. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to go there. It's not, was, that was not my intention. Take that, creepy eagle monster boy child thing with the, with, with the red.
Ow, walked right into that. Yep, still... Not, not counting squares fast enough to make certain things work for me. But we're definitely making improvements here. If I want that gold, I gotta fight around. Hello? Leave me alone, Bunky. No one wants you. There's the money and the exit. Sweet. I can go buy that thing now, probably. Oh, look, that's the person I need it for. Let's go get that key. Yeah, we're gonna make it to the floor four, probably, if I can do this fast. Well, I'm gonna make it probably regardless. Especially if that thing doesn't kill me. I need to hurry up. Uh oh. Oh no. Sorry. Death metal. Fuck. That seems bad. I don't have any health. I need to die now. Alright, cool. Doom, 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 doom. It's a higher speed. Gotta kill all of its friends first. I don't know what it's like. No. Yeah. No. I got relatively close to winning, but it got very I got a little confused. <laughs> Trying to adjust to new speed in there is a little tough. All right. You get you fun game. How many diamonds? I got 3 diamonds. I got one new guy. I'm gonna lose that key though, huh? Who's our new friend? Hello. Freeze enemies, find better items. Riches. Items will show up in chests. Okay. Um. Find better items? Riches? I don't trust myself to use the freeze enemy items at the right time necessarily. Can't afford anything there. How about you? Hi. Why not? Better torch? Why not? I like this game. So if I killed that guy, I would have unlocked zone two. I think there's one. Is there, is there four zones? I didn't. I think I might have seen four. This guy's currently commissioned four episodes, so it'd be pretty funny if I did one episode per zone. But I'm not guaranteeing shit because of possible failure to execute. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying this guy when it's Jesse Miller. Like, I'm keeping it a secret. Oops. I'm trying to go faster because all the other worlds were so much faster than this one. It's messing me up. Hello. You're so friendly. Yeah, it would be nice to get that heart container. Hello. Uh-oh. Walked right into that one, didn't I? Probably hurt myself just then, I'm not sure. Let's get that heart container before I die. Of course, this is another one of those games like, uh... Like Binding of Isaac, where more experienced people will, will lose their shit over my sub-optimal choices. Which is why I don't play Binding of Isaac. <laughs> Because <laughs> it just gives a headache to everyone who knows how to play that game better than me. Which seems to be everyone on the planet. I walked right into that one. That's why I get for talking. Ah, oh, crap. No, there's two of them! There's two of those alternating turn characters. That makes it even more confusing for me. Ah, oh, wow. I literally lured him across the world. And still utterly failed to do that correctly. Oh, well. Might as well go take a look. Hello. What's that thing do? Hold second weapon? Alright. Might as well unlock some things for myself. In we go. There we go. 
Making the killing early easy on me. Yay, now we can hold the second weapon we don't have. Ow. Ow, shit, no! No! Damn it! I can't... I need to get it straight in my head how to deal with those guys. So I need to move... I think I need to move next to them in the turn that they're moving, and this... Okay, thinking in squares and stuff like that, it's a little... That's gonna be interesting. Can the greens hurt you? I don't even know if the greens can hurt you, honestly. There we go. So I need to move to hit. If I move to the square at the same time as him, I think I'm good. But if I move it to it, I can't even. It's so hard to even explain my thought process when I'm trying to play this game. So much brain power is taken up by just trying to move the t at all. <laughs> Hello, friendly room full of friendly people. Hello. You gonna come over here, buddy? There we go. There we go. I did it right. I got- and all the coins are mine. Let's try to get some armor or something. Oh, there it is. Hello, friend. That's a digger. What? Wait. Right, that was the previous world that had the, uh... The armor. I'm thinking of the wrong one. Is there anywhere to explore? Hello. Lose items, gain health. Alright. That helped me out a lot, actually. Ow, and then I lost some of it immediately. Well, I'm durable for the moment. That'll do something for me. Who's these bad guys in here? Ow. Blew that. But that will teach them to fear the spear. It's hard to adjust to how slow this floor is. It just feels like you should be going so much faster. I think I'm gonna save my gold. There we go. This one's better. The speed for this floor just feels better to me. Ooh. Yeah, kill to heal, as it says. Oh, two empty heart containers. Find better items. Dare I? Why not? Let's give that a shot. See if I can make some money here. I'm gonna put my trust in spear for now. Place is clear. No! Die, you. Am I on the same floor still, or is it a wholly different place? The music changed. It might have been the floor 3 music, I don't remember. Did not actually mean to, ch to skip ahead. I think this is how you get in trouble in these games, is by skipping ahead without getting enough loot. So, with all of our, our money, we should just visit this guy right straight away. Oh, hello. We should just visit this guy up here right away. Armor! Absolutely. I love the heart container, but I also need a way to get the health filled in the first place. Oh. No! Oh, you fucker. Ah, I blew that so hard. Damn it. The fact that I tried to turn back is the worst thing, because it just meant that I lost another heart, because I couldn't go anywhere else. The power of spears, my favorite weapon in basically every game. It's just the range thing. I need to get that key. Ah. Sweet range. Hello, I'm range. I'm here to solve all your problems.
Oh no. Oh shit! I've never seen him attack before, so I didn't know what what the rules were. And he very abruptly obliterated me. <laughs> All right, that that escalated quickly. Shit. Hello, Merlin. What do you got? More gold, auto gold pickup. An enchant weapon. Why not? More gold. Cover some of my weaknesses. Hola. I'm back. I had so many hearts last time and did nothing with them. <laughs> Ow. Well, I blew that immediately. I get some of that sweet armor. There we go. Gotta get in. Ah, gotta adjust to the slow to the slow tempo. Ow! Ow! Off to a bad start here. Ow! This is called blowing it, kids. Take notes. Look at that sweet cash. All right, now that I'm half down to half a heart in like a minute, let's explore. <laughs> what could go wrong, right? Hello, riches. It's a riches scroll up and left. Fifty coins. All right, that's what that does. We learned a thing. Bye, torch. I'm sorry, but there's something's more important, like getting full health. Apparently, it apparently does fully fully heal you. God damn. That's a decent use of a freaking uh, torch. How do I get in the right spot? No! No! I'm trying to get in sequence with him and it's not working for me. So if you blow them up, you don't get any currency for it. I'm just, I'm just, I must be just processing that wrong, because I eventually just said screw it and it worked out anyway. Five? Whoa, five damage. Is that, that's higher, right? By a lot? What does my current one do? I don't know. I think five is super high, isn't it? That seems like it'd be one-shotting basically everything except for, like, bosses. Does it have a downside? Does it, like, break or something? Ah! Tempting to have that, but I'm tempted by the super high damage weapon too. Ah, uh, but a healing weapon. I'm so torn. Because a healing weapon would help me keep all these hearts full, but I feel like this thing's gonna help me nuke difficult enemies like Minotaurs. An enemy that's not necessarily. Ow, shit. Not necessarily super hard, but comp. but just, uh, sticks around long enough to cause you problems. As a room that exists to give you line of sight problems. Hello, Apple. All right. Just stock up on the apple for later. Why not? I feel like I need these things frequently enough. All right. What can we find down here? Ow. Gotta figure that one out better. I'm used to fighting those guys with ranged enemies. With the ranged attacks, it didn't matter as much. So we should get mo bonus gold pickups now. Hello, guys. So, oh, so water actually stops you from attacking that turn, it looks like. Minotaur! Oh yeah, that's a one-shot kill on Minotaur. As expected. Okay, now I just have a bunch of stuff. 
didn't necessarily get to read what they did, but they exist. <laughs> a bo so bomb is down and left. If I want to really make a mess of a room, potentially. Ow. Ow, shit. This is going to cause me some mental collapses. Let's do that. <laughs> that didn't really help at all. That was not worth doing. There's so many bats. Seems excessive. Did the, didn't the store kind of suck? So it's not necessarily a reason to bother with it. Hey, three bombs. Should I just visit this trap door and get out of here? Yay! Now I get attacked? Nope. These red guys, though. So you just, you just don't want to turn back while they're in range. Ow. I don't know how to double back and get to those guys. Without, without hurting yourself. Ah, fuck. Ah, man. This is... Yeah, this, this one's gonna take a while. <laughs> this game's gonna take a while to get straight in my head. There's stuff... Like, I, I, is this how I... No, that's not how I approach this situation. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright. Yeah. So they don't raise their arms first, If it's just the turn where they raise their arms is when it happens. So if you walk up to them in the turn where they're going to raise their hands, you get attacked, even if their arms already, aren't already up. Because that's what happened there, is he raised his arms and just swiped me in the same turn. Yep. Or something. So, something like that. I don't know. Uh, that was me. Wow. Brain. Help me. Such a different kind of game. I guess I was wrong, no? It looks like they have to raise their arms first, so that guy must have already raised his arms, or maybe he has different rules because he was a different colored skeleton? I'm not sure. What I do know is I fucking almost... I'm already killing myself. Still, we've made noticeable progress in this episode, even if we've had some blunders. Ow? So sometimes he attacks back at the same time? Okay, this is- oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna- my brain's gonna melt sometimes. Oh, no. I can't- oh, man. I need to stop pressing the button so fast. You get really into it when you play this game, and you get used to the higher level stuff, and then the game's like, nah, it's time to play a low-level dungeon. And then when you get back to the level level one, the game moves so slow by comparison. I can't help but uh, I think I find myself playing half notes basically, They're basically going twice as fast as the game wants me to. It'll hum you, it'll hum you for a bit, but not that long. This one just feels better. The speed. I find myself playing at this game this level speed even when I'm not supposed to. The broadsword's so handy. There we go. Don't know what enchant weapon does necessarily. I think broadsword, even though it, it, I talked about it getting me killed a few times, I think broadsword might be my favorite weapon. Because it lets me attack diagonally, which helps me get around the fact that I suck at fighting those enemies that uh, attack every other turn. My brain is not doing. Ah, it happened again. Requires sacrifice for what? What do you sacrifice? <laughs> Bye, boss. Dead end room. I need to find a shop. Not quite ready to go down to the next floor already. It's not the way to go. It must be up north. The digging is great. Yeah, there's doors up here. Ow. Way to go, buddy. 
so good at video games, man. Like, so good. Oh, no, not this guy. He might end my, my playthrough. Nope. Seal items. Uh, let's go for the sword. Give me more health. It must mean I need 10 kills to heal. Because I don't think it's broken on me, has it? So maybe I need that many, that much health to heal? Vision radius. Is that really worth it? Fuck it, it's not that expensive. Why not? Not much else going on on this floor, is there? Nope. Things are looking a little empty. Unfortunately, I have, like, no health. Oh, hello. Healing vial, I assume. But I probably don't have a way in. Oh, heart container, and that... Oh, you sacrifice and you get a heart container, apparently. There we go. No! You fuck! Oh, no. That was my healing opportunity. Help me, buddy. Uh, Bonus gold. Why not? Damn it. I totally had access to a heal. Well, at least I can st I can find these secret diamonds now. That'll help me between... F at least for the uh, metagame. What's that? I want it. Oh, fuck this room, man. Hey, diamond. Word off spirits. Minutes. Ow. Okay. That was poorly orchestrated on my part. Huh. Killed by Dark Minotaur. I can't believe that happened, though, where the, 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 the floor changed right when. <laughs> The song ended right when I was freaking healing. No. I was about to crap it. I just spent a bomb on it. I have four this time. Plus one purple chest per run. Alright. Freeze enemies. One plus one heart, fewer enemies. Oh, cool. Transform all non equipable items. Or non non equipped items. What's back here? Hello. Oh, another healing item. I, I could really use that, actually. Let's grab that. We'll grab the wider attack and the bonus healing. Another healing item showing up in the world is only going to help me. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a break, guys, here. So, thanks for watching, like always. This has been our first sponsored episode from Jesse Miller of uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer, a rhythm-based roguelike type game. Uh, I've gotten a little better over the course of this episode. And I've definitely had fun, even if it's kind of stressful trying to process what's going on. Is this one openable down here? Janitor. Remove items from uh, non-all zones item pool. So you can pay money to... You can pay one diamond to remove items from the pool so they stop showing up. Which doesn't, which isn't a crazy idea because uh, it's like the Guild of Dungeoneering thing where if you keep adding stuff to your list of items then you could you could be getting more stuff you don't want. Dragon lore. Master advanced technique. Alright. A few lore looking things, but definitely... I think that's four more doors I have to unlock by rescuing people with golden keys. But anyway guys, thanks for watching like always. Uh, be sure to visit patreon.com slash SebastianSB if you want to learn how uh, someone gets to do this kind of video where they tell me to play this game and everything. Uh, thank you, like, for always for your support, Jesse Miller. Long-time supporter. Longest-time supporter, basically, at this point. Uh, thanks for watching, like always. I'll see you guys next time.